It was my first morning in Bella Riva and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet in the main square, meanwhile. Preparations were underway for the festival in a few days time. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, everything here seemed perfect. I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. I tried to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? Those batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. by your side and hold you so tight know that i will always love you even though when it we... finished as he picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack thanks maria you're the best person at fixing things ever no problem who was that singing they're very good it's my mom she, she's not here anymore Izzy trailed off. It was the kind of silence a cassette tape would never be enough to fill. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of... a stick of gum, three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious, I wrote out a full receipt. She seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, part of her life had been shattered. A part I wouldn't be able to fix.